How my little butterflies and this video is gonna be my November TBR. So yeah, so this month in November, I'm going to be doing my TBR a little different. Just because two important things are happening for me this month in November. The one thing, one thing is November is Alzheimer's Awareness Month and, and Alzheimer's runs in my family. So I just want to bring awareness to um, Alzheimer's because you don't see too many commercials or campaigns bringing awareness to Alzheimer's. You always see cancer commercials for breast cancer, all kinds of cancer, but you rarely ever see a commercial for Alzheimer's. And I think that's an issue because Alzheimer's kills more people than breast cancer does. But I mean, not to overshadow breast cancer because breast cancer is serious too, but I just want Alzheimer's to get just as much awareness brought to it as breast cancer does all year long. So, um, that's one thing. And another thing is something that I found out at the beginning of the year, I didn't even know it was a thing, is Native American Heritage Month is in November as well. Um, I think it was around Black History Month, I just decided to search, I'm like, is there a month for Native Americans? Because I have Native Americans in my bones as well, in my genes. My great-grandma was half Cherokee, so I'm told. She was half Cherokee and half um, African American as well. Uh, she passed away from Alzheimer's when I was like seven or eight, um, I want to say. So um, I want to show support for the other half of my heritage, okay? So this month, all the books that I'm going to be reading is going to be about um, Alzheimer's or by or about um, Native Americans. You know, fair, right? <laughs> so that is what I'm doing this month. And I really wanted to pe prepare more for this month. Like, I wanted to really get more books fitting into what I'm trying to do this month. But I uh, kind of got behind. And I'm probably, I don't know if I'm going to read them in this order or not, but this is just how they came to me. The first book that I plan on reading is An Absent Mind by Eric Rill. And this is a book that I got on my Kindle and I got it from um, the Prime Store for free. So I am probably am going to read that first because I have to check that back in. And I'm not sure if I'm renewing my Prime in November or not. So I'm probably going to read that first because once they cut my Prime off, they're going to take the book back. So I'm going to read that first. And it is an Alzheimer's awareness book in case you guys are wondering. And the second book that I have that I plan on reading is the Pocahontas John Smith story by Pocahontas Wright Edmonds. And this is a book that is on my Kindle as well. I got this book for free off of Amazon and it's basically about Pocahontas and John Smith. And um, I have two books actually this month that is about Pocahontas because I'm just interested in Pocahontas. I mean, I know that's cliche to read about Pocahontas, Native American, blah, blah, blah. But I'm interested in Pocahontas because growing up, the Pocahontas movie, Pocahontas is a grown ass woman. But recently I found out that Pocahontas, and, like the story that it was based off of, Pocahontas was not an adult. Pocahontas was a 12 year old girl. He was an adult, but she was 12. So I'm like, damn. Yeah, that's not, he's a pedophile, right? That's not. Okay, so I'm interested in how, what was going on in the minds of these people when this was going on. Okay, so that's. Another book that I'm going to be reading. And then the other Pocahontas book that I'm going to be reading is Pocahontas by Joseph Bruchek. And this is the book that I have. It's It looks relatively short. It's pretty short. Yeah, it's only 173 pages. Well, I'm sorry, 168 pages. It's very, very short. So this is one of the books, another book that I'm going to be reading. I got this in my last book haul, I think I did. And you know with stories like this, especially when it's written by different people, the story always some kind of way different so it's going to be fun to like compare and contrast the books about well this book said this happened but this book said this happened this book didn't say this but this one did so it's going to be a very active reading experience for me the fourth book that i'm going to be reading is going to be an alzheimer's awareness book and it is a day to remember by gretchen nelson um viking i'm pretty sure i butchered that last name <laughs> but this is Alzheimer's Awareness book, and it is a book about, um, I can't remember the character's name, but I remember what it's about. This woman, she's getting married, and she is missing. Everybody is there except for her grandmother. Her grandmother has Alzheimer's, and her and her mother's sister, and they look back on the years of everything going through with their grandmother, how 
they spent time together and it's, it's almost like a, like a flashback book where it's like when you sit down with your fandom members like I remember this I remember that so it's I think it's gonna be very heartwarming and funny to read just because you know it's gonna be like some funny things they're gonna be looking back on but it's gonna be heartwarming because it's gonna be wow she can't remember this now you know and the last book that I have on my um, TBR for November is Beyond the Western Sun the Whisper Legacy book one by Christina Circelli and this is a book about a Native American well, it's centered around Native Americans, but it's a fantasy book, so it's, you know, it's not real. I don't know if the author is Native American, but the book is centered around Native Americans. Um, I don't remember what it's about. I really don't, you guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I just got this book, like, last night, so I don't remember, and it was free off the of Kindle, but it seems interesting. I just don't remember what it's about. Sorry. But I'm going to link the Goodreads links to all of the books that I'm talking about in the description box below, so you guys can click on it and go and see what it's about. And also, I'm going to be doing reviews for these books, and, you know, once I reveal, of course, I'll be able to tell you what it's about. And all my reviews are always full of free, just in case you're wondering. So yeah, that is all the books that I actually plan on reading in November. I may buy, um, like, get another book. Because there is another book that I wanted to get, but I didn't get the chance to get it. And I think it's poetry. I think it's called Native, uh, Native American Voices. I'll put the picture in. I think it's called Native American Voices. But it's, it's a collection of poetry by different Native American poets and authors and stuff. And it's just, I was like, that would be so amazing. And the cover, I remember, is so beautiful. So I'm definitely going to try to get that next month. But we'll see. Okay, that'll be like a late entry add-on to my TBR. But yeah, that is all I plan on doing for November. And hopefully, you guys help me into bringing some awareness to Native American heritage month and also to alzheimer's awareness month um because i want to start off all of my videos this month with like a fact about alzheimer's awareness or something about native americans that we don't know just to try to i don't know i'm just trying to help the cause out people you know so thank you guys so much for watching my video don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time bye